What is going on gamers, Avatrix here again and this time around I am on Furious Lexus account. Now before we get into this video I do want to shout out Suze Homsi, uh, he's actually another Castle Clash YouTuber which I rolled gems for not too long ago and I started checking out his content and it's very very good so I'm going to leave the link to his channel in the description so go ahead and check him out guys, I actually do like his content. Um, now on this account in furious lexus account he is a, a guild member of panda treks and we're going to be opening a ton of stuff like look at this 999 crest bags what 139 rare crest bags 161 mythic crest this is just a lot it's a lot of stuff like this this man has been hoarding I guess he enjoys hoarding, and I thought I had a lot of stuff, but it's nothing compared to this. So, I might just make this a two-parter. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do, because it's just so much stuff to open. So, let's go ahead and start with the Sacrifice Hero card. We're, hope we're hoping for purple. We're hoping for purple. Ah, uh, no purple there, but we got one more shot. Oh, two purple. That's what I'm talking about. That's almost, what, about uh, yeah, about 350 shards just off of that. That's very nice. Now, Experience Pack 3. I've actually never opened one myself. But uh, let's go ahead and see what it's packing. Okay. It's a nice little amount of tomes. So, let's get into these uh, crest bags and boxes. Now, let's take a quick look at another thing. His Lost Realm. Okay, I want I want you to take a look at his blue crystals. So right now he basically has none. Thirty-seven thousand blue crystals. Oh, maybe a little bit more after we collect this. All right, so that took it out to almost fifty thousand. Okay, just want you, want you to keep that in mind. Fifty thousand blue crystals. Yeah, not for long. Look at that. Look at these hoarders. Like what? Let's open all of these up and see what what we end up with. Because it's going to be a lot. Like, look at this. Out of blue crystal bags, well, that's what, a million and a half? Like, okay. Let's go ahead and use this box. Look at this. That's almost four million. Four million. Are you kidding me? And then what do we get here? Almost another four million. Boom. And then he, <laughs> he has two red bags. Like, okay. All right, so let's see what we, we... We're pretty much almost full. We're pretty much at max. Let's see. Look at this. He went from having nothing to being pretty much maxed out. What in the... Wow. That's all I got to say. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual bags. We're going to start with the, the rare crest bags and work our way down. So... Let's go ahead and see what we can get. Now, I can take Bulwark and War God. Deadly Strike is the one I really don't want. Okay, we can take that. Heavy Blow. Uh, heavy Blow really isn't that useful anymore, honestly. Ooh, Bulwark. I can, I can definitely use that. I don't want to see more Self-Destruct. Oh, that's right. Scatter. That is useful. I could use some Scatter in my life. Bulwark. I mean, we're probably going to be walking out with... A bulwark two, bulwark oh, almost maybe a bulwark level three. So I'm getting a lot of scatter. I like that war god. Okay, and actually in this new update that's coming that's coming out, when you roll the heroes, it's it's gonna be kind of like a druid card where it goes to your warehouse, um, which I guess it's it's a good thing. But the only thing that I'm kind of questioning is. Since it's pretty much going to be every hero that you roll, is that going to take up too much space on your warehouse? Because, I mean, right now as it is, for me to open up more space, it costs quite a bit of gems, honestly. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But, I mean, I guess it's somewhat of a convenience thing, so it's not too bad. So, we've gotten quite a few bulwarks already. Let me get some, some more war god and scatter... And we'll be good. Look at this. Good. Okay, scatter. Not bad. You put scatter like a secondary on a frost switch or any hero that you're doing here be demon with. And that can actually be pretty useful. 
um, as, as well as revive just because a lot of these here be demons can kill your hero and um, especially if it's like your tank like an orc spain he could die and come right back and keep healing himself so revive and things like that is very useful for here be demon on uh, my team that i leave um, for here be demon that uh, people use for me um, i leave a Moltanica and a frost switch pretty much just to debuff and then pumpkin duke and cupid are there you know for obvious reasons and then um, the last one that I use is Ares to not let the boss proc. So usually the other team um, just pretty much has to bring a decent healer and some damage dealers. But um, if you also bring like your own Frost Witch or Moltanica or um, even even your own Ares, that can go a long way as well. So I've actually been thinking of what I'm going to do with my shards. And I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards the garrisons. Just because um, looking at Ares and his skill level, if I use 40,000 shards on getting it from 8 to 9 to 9 of 9, the benefit really isn't that great. It, I mean, it really isn't. And if I use that to get my garrisons up, that would at least get all of my green garrisons to level 5. Now, the blue garrisons actually do cost a little bit more. I believe in total that'll probably be a little over getting a hero to 9 of 9 so I mean that's it's gonna take a while to get them all to level 5 but this is why I've been keeping them and uh, once I get them to at least level 5 all of them then I'll probably just run T um, just continuously until I actually beat it because I really I'm not really running it or anything like that if I don't record it, uh, as far as like here be monsters, I'm not doing it. I, I'm not really doing any of that off camera. Um, it's kind of like Flame Seeker when I was doing it. I wasn't doing the dungeon off camera or anything like that. So that's where we stand. So right now we've actually gotten up quite a bit of scatters and war gods and all of that. We're going to we'll go ahead here and at the end take a look to see what we actually got in total. A lot of freaking self-destruct too. Like, come on. Heavy blows up the wazoo. How many we even got left? 35 left. I want to see some more level 4s. Where are the war gods level 4? Okay, scatter. Alright, I can dig that. War god and bulwark level 4. Where are you at? Self-destruct. War god. Ah, not the self-destruct level 4. That's not what I was talking about. Oh, there we go. War God. Where's the bulwark? That was, that was close. Okay, scatter. I not, don't mind that either. Come on, where's the bulwark for? Okay, War God 1. Not bad. Oh, man. We better be able to make at least a War God and a bulwark level 2 out of this. Or tier 2. I don't even know what to say. How, how is that? Tier, levels. I don't know. Ah, close. Come on, let me get one. Just one. No, not the heavy blow. Oh, no, not the war god. Although, keep giving me fours. I don't mind. Ah. Hey, there it is. Oh, man, that was almost at the end. But we got it. We got it. Okay, so now we... Uh, I want to take a look to see... Oh, and a deadly strike. Okay. Oh, back to back. All right. Oh, back to back to back. What was... And, and of course, it's a useless one. Why not? Oh, I was going to say, wait a minute. Four in a row? All right, so let me see what the heck we actually got. We got a ton of stuff. All right, so we definitely can make a level two bulwark out of all of that. Let's take a look at the War God. Um, okay, so these makes a War God uh, Tier 3. This gets you close to a War God Tier 3. This also... Oh, man, you're, you're almost there. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, man. Alright, so let's open up... Let's open up these crest boxes and see what we can get. Sprint and slow down is what I'm looking for on these. Okay, there we go. Great start. Sprint and slow down. Okay, that's a lot of scorch. Alright, that's better. 
Sprint, okay. Alright, keep it coming. I don't mind that. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. No. No. I'll take... Uh, yeah, stone skin. That's better than Scorch. There we go. Let me get some level 4s, though. That's what counts here. Okay, but not, not those, though. Come on. No. Okay, a level 3. That's not bad. Okay, let me get a level 4, though. Slow down and sprint. Come on. Slow down and sprint. Okay, stone skin's nice. Uh, close enough. Am I not gonna get any of the good ones? Come on. Oh, I think we ran out of space. Actually, he told me to use some gems to open up some, so we'll do that. So, is, what, what does this mean? Is that it's a new crest or something? I guess. I guess since it's level 2, it really is its own little section. Okay. Oh, man. It's not the level 4 that I needed. Come on. Oh, and we get a back-to-back. -back. Okay. So, let me take a look at the sprint. What do we have here? Okay, that's that's enough for a lot of... Holy crap. But, no level 4s. We do have... Almost enough to get a level 3 slow down going. But yeah, this is going to be the first part. On the next one, we're going to be opening up all of these. Mythic Crest Bag, Rare Crest Boxes, and see if we can get a good revite. Maybe Berserk, etc. But yeah, the second part is going to be coming up probably maybe an hour or so after this one comes out. Or maybe tomorrow since it's kind of late already. But yeah, thank you for watching guys, and until later, bye. Different. Something fresh.